Yo, what's up people? Welcome back to another studio video. This should be a fun one. This is an interesting idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. We kind of came up with this idea a few days ago because for whatever reason, I brought up one of the first videos I ever worked on, which was the iPhone 7 four month later review. Yeah. And if you remember correctly, we actually shot that in a breather that I had mentioned, like I walked by in New York City and, and remembered seeing the building. But as the video is playing, all of a sudden you're on a roof somewhere with the iPhone. Yeah, and there's like an insert shot and some B-roll. Yeah, and you just like knew where it was. I knew exactly what it was. I remembered yeah. it and I was like, oh, this is actually an insert from a previous video. I remember we shot that in San Francisco. I was on a roof. I had the phone for a little extra. I shot it before the embargo. Like I remembered <laughs> everything about it. And I was like, well, I bet I could, pro I could probably remember most things about, like if you show me just a frame from a video, <laughs> I could probably get at least what video it is, uh -huh. if not some details from like, cause I've basically shot everything. You've done over 1500 videos on the, the main channel now, and yeah. you've been a very big part of every single Which one. might be the biggest challenge, which is like, we have some similar shots in each video, yes. so maybe I'll remember okay. a different video, but we'll see. If you're not familiar with GeoGuessr, you basically get a spot on like Google Maps, and you have to guess where that is based on just that one particular spot. Yeah. So I've created a couple categories, and I kind of like, turned this whole thing into a game and we're gonna see kind of how well do you know the MKBHD channel. We've built GeoGuessr for MKBHD frames. <laughs> yes. Incredible. Okay. And um, we'll include all the frames in here, so if you wanna play along, feel free to play along if you've been a long time viewer. Um, yeah. I think I I had a lot of fun making this. So I'm we're pretty see confident how right now. First round, clip from main channel video somewhere other than the studio. Mm. You have to tell me where that is. So where geographically. Yeah, I don't really necessarily care about the name of the video if that helps you think better, but I want to know where geographically. I'll give you as much is. as I can. Cool. Sure. First clip. That was my road trip. Where are we? This is the last this is the last stop. Okay. Yeah. This uh Hayato got out the car, set up the ultra wide. This is the last stop on the thousand mile road trip. Mm -hmm. And we were in the back of a mall, and I wanna say God, the, the geography is gonna be the hard part about this yes. one because we were at some random charger, some V3 charger to top up before we came home. I'm gonna guess that that's in Pennsylvania. So this one is one of the few clips that made it into the main channel video. I did make sure it was on that. Yeah. This is actually in Syracuse, New York. New York, okay. So I believe this is actually day one. This is on the way up? up? I believe this is on the way up. This is not a mall, this is a hotel, I believe. And fun fact, see that sign back there? Yeah. That's actually called Electronics Parkway. Oh, wow. Which I think is kind of fun. That's pretty sick. Do I get credit for... It was you said Pennsylvania. Road trip. Was... You said Pennsylvania. Oh, the geographical. I think we're going geographical on this one. Geographically, I was wrong. Okay. Yes. Points are gonna be kind of up to me, if I'm gonna be honest. Fair. So, uh... All right, all right I gotta right. think. Clip two. Boston Dynamics. Good job. Yes. You got that very quickly. This is the intro where we sit in the lab where Boston Dynamics currently shoots all their videos. Uh, and I think it continues to zoom out and spot shows up. Shows up in the bottom left. Yes. I get, maybe I didn't need to give you the extra hint. No, you got it immediately. Yeah. You knew this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. good job. That was a fun video. That's a great video. One shot of my on favorite red Because we only shot a little bit of that on red. We shot a lot of that on the R5s. Oh, but yeah. But we did break out the red for the intro and for some of the B-roll shots in there. Question three. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you remember where? Instantly. So we shot this at a university town uh, when we went and shot the Truth About 5G video. And this is me pulling up my phone to do that first speed test. Uh, it cuts to a close-up of my face, my eyes go mm -hmm. wide, and then I'm like, getting 800 down. Is this Brown University? I gotta think now. I would like the town <clears> name of this. The town name, okay. I think you say it in the, you say this in the video multiple times. Cause at this point it was like the only 5G node in like America, I right. think. And, and we, I remember we woke shot. up and drove like four or five hours to go to it. Yeah. Oh wow. We drove north, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we were in, we were in Massachusetts, I think. Ah, uh, what school is? What if I give you the town name and then you pick the state? That I'd probably be able to get it, I think. Providence. Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, what school is this? Just give me the state. Rhode Island. Yes. Correct. Yeah. I don't remember what school it was. We I mean, this sure. was weird, like little a little downtown. Oh yeah, there was that school because we were going behind the brick building yeah. and you immediately lost signal like 20 yeah, yeah, feet yeah, away yeah. from we it. Were, we 
were very much either like on a campus or right outside of a college campus when we shot this. Do you want to look it up real quick? Brown. It was Brown. It was Brown. Okay. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Earlier. You said Brown. I didn't know. I don't know. That's the yeah, school. We, That's were, the... we were near Brown's campus when we shot this. Yeah, Providence, Rhode Island. I'll give you credit for the, okay. the state here. Okay. I gave you a lot of hints for that. Yeah, though, so. I remembered a lot of things other than the geo. That's interesting. All right, clip number four. Oh, that's Toronto. I remember this one. This is a cold video. Where in Toronto? Yeah, we were, well, we were outside of Toronto. We went and shot at Joel's house, mm -hmm. at Dead Mouse's house. We shot with DJI when they had the Inspire. This is the first Inspire. This is Inspire. like the OG Inspire, yeah. Uh, and you see the the Phantom, or the Mavic in the background? Phantom, yeah, I think that's Joel's Phantom, actually. Is that a Phantom or a Mavic? It's a Phantom, yeah. Okay, I don't know who that is with the controls, probably a Verge producer, but it was me, the Verge, Sam was at, on the Verge at yeah, that yeah, time, yeah, yeah. and Dead Mouse shooting drones outside of Toronto in Canada, right before I had to leave for final exams, so this is like... You do keep saying that in the video yeah. after you get in his like P1, and you're like, like, this is way better believe than... You have to leave for final exams like stay another day i was like yeah it's uh it's may my guy i gotta peace out do you notice anything weird about this video it shot on canon uh because the verge shot it and and so it was probably 24 fps yes yeah you know, just throw that in there <laughs> <laughs> clip five last of this section mm. Mm. Okay, I'm reviewing an iPhone, I believe that's a 6 Plus, and I'm in a breather in New York. Double check, because I remember I had to run screen recording to do that. No, I'm not, I'm at the TLD studio. I remember this now. I was at the TLD Good. studio, and that cable is plugged into a Mac, and I'm recording it with QuickTime. That's why oh, it's that's recording. how it's like screen recording? Yeah, there was no screen recording at the time. And I was like, John, how do you do those like side by side things? And he was like, you got to plug it into QuickTime and then just set it as a camera, as a target to Funny. screen record. So that's plugged into a Mac and I'm recording at John's spot, the TLD HQ Correct. at the time. And that is in California and that is reviewing. This was like iPhone week where when I all hanged out mm -hmm. in the same spot. So it's probably me, John, probably Lamar, uh, all just making iPhone videos at the at the same spot. Yeah, Austin's in this video actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, which I actually thought this was Austin's at first, and Brandon made me realize this was actually John's studio. John's so studio. I actually I'm glad we ran the test before because that's correct. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Man, you were very confident with New York Breather there for a second. Uh, for and then, a second, but then I saw the cable and I was yeah. like, how's it now scanner? It's also six S, I believe, if I six remember S. correctly. Okay, that would be really hard to tell from this, but yeah, nice. Okay, four for five. Solid. I'm, if you do really well on this, I'm going to continue this and I'm going to make these harder and harder. I tried to make a balance in here, but you're doing pretty well so far. Second round, just to reiterate, these are a still frame from an A-roll set and you have to guess what the video is about. I don't need title, I just wanna know kind of like what essentially we're portraying in that video. Okay, interesting. Right? Yeah, first frame. This is an iOS 17 video. Final answer? Not final, but um, this, this is what comes up. So this is when we were doing a little bit more A-roll in the studio, uh, in the waveform room. This is the old desk in there. Mm -hmm. I have the mask on, so it might be a Halloween time of year. So October, so that makes sense that it's iOS. And I remember I shot a lot of B-roll with the widgets on the table, which is also where the thumbnail was shot. So I'm gonna say it's an iOS video. It is a PlayStation 5 controller video. I also shot that <laughs> in that room, and that explains why the, the PS5 is right behind there. me. Oh, actually, yeah. You can also tell this is around retro tech time because there's yeah. the old TV there. Yeah, and... I put the PlayStation behind me, uh, and I made a video after the review, not the review, after the unboxing, just on the haptics of the controller in the PS5. Mm -hmm. Dang, okay, that's an L for me on that one. That's, I think these are gonna be kind of tough. Dear Twitter. All right, let me look around. So, studio upstairs. This is any number of videos. I shot a lot of videos in this set. There's a reason you should remember this one. Okay. So, Cheerios, the HD, the flamethrower, the art, the Groot. We've got the, the light. I mean, all of that's fairly standard. We did that, the jam box. A lot of that's been in the backgrounds before. And is this shot on the Helios? 
Is that why it looks like that? Man, do you remember how often we used the Helios for a while? The Helios we were was about pretty this fun. It was fun for A-roll. I don't know if I can guarantee this was shot on the Helios. It looks like it's just a wide open yeah. 24. This is a common set for me. I'm not picking up on anything. It is. It was um, kind of a different video that we did. Oh man, I don't know how many hints I want to give you to this because you're doing so well, but I also want to like continue the... Uh... I mean, everything I've said so far is true. Like we've shot yeah. in this set a lot. I lit up the HD a lot. Those things run on AA batteries and they die and we leave them on all the yes. time. And Yes. Die in like a day. yes. I can't tell you where you're wrong. You immediately thought dear Twitter, but like that is always with the table in front of you. Yeah, the table. So this is a different angle. So it could have been a punch in at the same set, but that you're right. Uh, we're off centered here. I don't know. All right. This I is remember. a thousand uploads. This oh, is the A roll set yes. that we crunched. That is exactly what that is. That is, this is the video that we sent to YouTube a thousand times. Yes, yeah, so first. technically, this wasn't the whole A roll set for it, but this was the specific this one minute of A roll. This one's burned into your brain. Yes, it is very into burned into my brain. But I still wow. think it was enough of where, like, I think this was a big enough iconic set that it felt reasonable wow. to put it okay. in. Okay, I'm not going to forget that one now. Yes. Dang, okay. All right, question three. Okay, <clears throat> this is a hotel room. This is in California. And this might be a pixel hands-on, but I need to think about it longer. Uh, it's got a magenta cast to it. Uh, there's a laptop behind me, a phone behind me. I think, but the pixel hands-on, we didn't do the A-roll in the hotel. So this is some hands-on slash impressions video at a hotel. So I can't say I picked it just because this hotel looks a little just more like unique than a looks, lot of other yeah, ones. It's kind of cool. Um, if you do want like a free hint here, actually this looks like our old t-shirt that I designed that we put on yeah. Teespring. Yeah, um, I was, this is before my time, but I found this video interesting. So I, and mm. it seemed unique enough that I thought there was a good chance you could get this. Yeah. The video top. Dang, it's really gonna hit me when you say it. This is like, again, if it was multiple choice, instantly I'd have this one. Yeah, you uh, flew through the first question segment though, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's the 2016 MacBook unboxing. 2016, the MacBook, like the, like, tw the 12 inch MacBook. 13 inch MacBook Pro, sorry. 13 inch MacBook Pro 2016 unboxing. The rest of this video is you like unboxing it like in the courtyard of a hotel, like outside. Oh, I remember that, yeah. So that that to me felt really oh. strange that you did a full unboxing. Yeah. Literally okay. you're outside in like patio furniture. I was also with, with John from TLD for this trip, I believe. So my question here is, is this one, did Apple used to give you, they used to give you a bag with the products at the event rather than ship them afterwards? I can only assume, right? Why else would you be doing it? For this, I believe there were consecutive events and we had the laptop and we were trying to figure out when is the embargo and I haven't had it long enough to review it, but I have it, so I might as well do a video. Okay. I believe it was a gold laptop. If you go, if you fast forward I, in the video, you'll see, it's either, ah, it might be silver actually. Next one. Okay. There's a lot of things I remember about this. The overwork shirt, the 16 by nine, the window lighting, the Canon C100, the, care, the studio monitors behind me, the Asus. This setup is a classic. Oh yeah. But that's the thing about it is I've shot in this setup also yes. a lot of times. I took that into consideration. Mm -hmm. I believe that I put some, I took a clip that is a hint towards what it is and for a couple of reasons. So, so I tried to, I gave you a chance. Yeah, the closet's say. closed. So this could be the one where the Verge crew walks in behind me. Yeah, a, a video about my dream phone where I shot the end of the video in the studio, but that one I feel like would have been wider because they kind of like Dieter and Sam oh, come in they? from the side and they're Dieter like- Dieter was at your college dorm room. Yeah, That's for like one funny. day and they came in from the side and they were in the background. I was like, shout out to the Verge team for helping me shoot this. And then they walk in the background and they're just like, and I like put the logo right over them so they can click up. Uh, well, me being surprised but, by that should be obvious. Yeah, this, isn't, this, wide is enough, that, yeah. this isn't wide enough to get them in the shot. The only things that are like possibly unique to this set mm -hmm. are the notebooks that I'm holding right now. That or, is the clue I'm giving you. Ugh. I don't know. This is Ask MKBHD version one. And in the thumbnail are the notebooks because somebody asked you about, about the notebooks. Yep. 
I didn't want to do Ask MKBHD, but I thought maybe version one would be memorable enough. And I yes. specifically made a clip that it references the thumbnail. So tried to give you a couple lifelines in there. I could tell you everything else about this video. I couldn't have gotten that one. That was a really good one. <laughs> that was a tough one. Wow. Okay. Last one. Yes. Okay. So I'm sitting in the car. I'm sitting in my car. I'm sitting in the... I'm sitting in Apollo. Uh, there's a brick wall behind me. That's Carney brick wall. The duck is behind me. I'm probably talking about the duck. The dock. The so dock. Oh, I'm sorry. The sorry. The building yeah. And the the loading dock is behind me. So okay. I like pulled up to have this behind me, and I was lit by the sun. Oh, is this our? This is our parking spaces now, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's funny. Yes. Interior wise, though, because it's black, I know it's the first. I know it's Apollo. Because mm -hmm. the second one after that was a white interior, and then the plaid has a True. yoke, and that's not a yoke. Yeah. So, and that's I can tell how young I am in this video. So it's <laughs> definitely, it's definitely. Okay, it's I'm in Apollo. I couldn't tell you what video it is though. No other clues in here that might help. The three fingers. Is is this part of it? The three two fingers. Can you imagine like what you're saying here? Maybe dual motors. Three model three. Oh, I did a Model 3 Impressions. Or I went to the Model 3, yeah, maybe it's Model 3 Impressions? Yes. It is? Okay. Yes. So I, that was a complicated that video was... <laughs> to shoot. I went out to California, and I was able to drive Franz's red beta Model 3. We started at the factory. We did a little loop. I drove around. Okay. But I don't think I was able to film anything. Mm -hmm. So I had to then come back to this, fly back to the studio, and explain what Model 3 is without yes. any footage of it. And in this section, you're saying the Model S is this, the Model 3 is this. So I tried <laughs> to get one where you're saying three. See, videos that have multiple different locations are I, harder. I yeah. wanted to make some of these hard. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like tried to give you somewhat of a hint. I also think this may have been one of the first inside your car shoots. Cause I remember doing this where like, well, we don't have any footage of the car. We can't really show it like, how can we make the A-roll more fun? And you're like, let's shoot it in the car. That sounds like a good idea. And yeah. this is probably, I think, I believe this is one of the first times you've made that whole rig and everything to get in for there. For sure. Well, I got it. I'm glad I got that one. Got once. So I think you're five for 10 right now. Oh. Four in the first. Got one of my percentage. Second. Let's get over 60 All right, let's go to round three. What I need from you for this is I have a clip from a video where you attended an event and you have to tell me what the event was and what year it was. You don't necessarily have to tell me exactly what you said in the video or anything. I just want to know the event and the year. Okay. First one. Yes, the CES ping pong robot. And Omron invited us back to do it again the next year and I, don't, I didn't have as much of it on camera. So this is the first time I tried to play it, I'm pretty sure. Which means, and it's CES, mm -hmm. it's, in the, it's in the show floor. So what year was that? 2020, 2019. Let's go CES 2018. Correct. Good job. This That's is my cool. first CES. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> 2018. I actually think we met Vin at the CES also because he was yeah. there separately. Yeah. Wow. That's a fun okay. one. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. I gotta do some math for this one. Okay, this one, I have all the clues I need to get this. There you go. We set this up at Google I.O. This is in the amphitheater, and we have an arrow pointing down to the exit, but we put Oreos. I forgot about the sign and yeah. the arrow. That's and we have so the arrow pointing right at the Oreos because they showed off for the first time Android Oreo. I just have to do the math on how many, what letters <laughs> are we at now? O, P, Q, 4.0 is KitKat. L M N O. So five, six, seven, eight. Android eight. What year was that? Google I.O. 2017. Correct. Good job. I go. like that math. The math you had to do was <laughs> go that was very but you had to go backwards to go forwards rather than counting straight back. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, this is the year Hiroshi kind of like trolled everyone with the Oreo thing. There we Oreos bought everywhere. those Oreos, but there were Oreos everywhere. Yeah. That was a very fun I think that was actually my first IO as well. Alright. Android 10R impressions. What year What'd was you just that? say? 10R. 
You said Android 10R oh, for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I said Android 10R. Wow. iPhone 10R impressions at Apple Park. And so what year was that then? It says Monday, September 12th. It doesn't say the date. It's on the <laughs> that would have been a hilarious <laughs> oversight if I missed that because I was Just not little, paying attention. A little bit of a hint. It's in the video. The year we had the 8, 8 plus and the 10 was one year. The next year we got 10S and 10R. So it's the year of 10S, 10S Max, or plus, 10S plus, 10S Max, might be Max, and then 10R. And then we got 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, well, I'm doing the math. 2019 is iPhone 11, 2018 is iPhone 10S, 2018. Correct. Man, you know, the thing I'm bummed about this is like, I tried to make it, I guess it was obvious enough about 10R is like, I tried to not show the back of the phone. And then yeah. so I was hoping people would maybe see the colors and notice it, but man, everyone guessed 10R right away. 10R and I bezels. get it, it's but like, It's just a small yeah. thing, but like those bezels were no. I was kind of hoping you'd be like, so worried about like picking things, maybe like- Well, I remember the wallpaper on the little. iPhone 10 too. The wallpaper had like a, okay. like a red and some blue on it. And this okay. is the other wallpaper for the 10R. Okay. All right, next one. Back on track. Oh my God. Galaxy Note, holy smokes. Samsung unpacked. Is that the first Galaxy Note? Note 10 was 2019. Note 9 was 2018. Note's gonna screw you up because then the Note exploded, didn't it? Um, yeah. Did it skip a year? No, seven was 2017. But they they still, yeah, they did skip. Well, they didn't really skip the year. It just flopped. Samsung unpacked 2012. I am going, well, let's see. You got all Gal wrong. Galaxy Note. That's not even the Note. This is a Samsung shop, uh, Samsung shop experience or Samsung experience shop. Mm. And it, your video is about the S4 and it's 2013. That's the S4? I don't know if this is specifically the S4, but that's what your video about that this is included oh, well, that in. That would throw me way off if the video's not about that. But but, okay. but it's also not an unpacked event. It was just like a mm. Samsung shop experience. Yeah. I tried is this your first event? Do you know do you remember what your first event was? I tried very hard to find it, but based on thumbnails, sometimes it's a little harder. My first ever event was a Samsung event, and it was in New York. This is in New York. And it was with Austin Evans, Lamar Wilson, and this guy Ryan who doesn't make videos anymore. CES HTC Vive. I remember shooting that. Okay, so with that, with how well the focus held there, that was shot on. Hmm. Yeah, that was shot on Canon C100. I did a whole bit with the Vive there. So I definitely have more footage of the Vive and probably footage of me wearing the Vive. And uh, I went to an HTC thing. Shen might've been there. I got my That's demo. Let's go with CES 20. <laughs> College. 2014? No. This is MWC. 2015. This is when the Vive got announced. The was, only time I, was I ever say. went to MWC. So you're eight for 15? Okay. Yeah, right around 50%, all right. Over 50%. So this last round is I've picked a thumbnail that I think, I hope so. This is what I was thinking. I'm picking thumbnails. If you can't guess these, did we do a bad job at the thumbnails? Because they yeah. <laughs> right? should be pretty indicative. So this yeah. should show. So I want you to get as close to the title as possible. Okay. If it's not exact wording, I'm fine. But like, if it's like a categoried playlist that we make, like we have a bunch of different series, like I want you to get close to it. I don't yeah. just want you to tell me what the device is. I'll at least get the gist, with... I hope. Yes. Yeah. And I'll be the judge of it. And then maybe you, you can, okay. we can debate. All right, first question. This is the video looking at the fingerprint sensor underneath the display in the Vivo I don't know, X20, I don't remember the name of the phone, but the reason it's got the knife and the keys and everything is because we went and scratched into a durability test. So this would be under screen fingerprint sensor explained or under screen fingerprint sensor test, something like that. Oh yeah, testing the limits is what it's called. Okay. So yeah, total, I'll give you that. Yeah, this is, this is when we talked about DxOMark and how they 
have increasingly beautifully higher scores for every phone that comes out for some reason, and they're approaching 100 for some reason, but their scale is not on a scale <laughs> yes. from 1 to 100, as you can clearly tell now. So I did DxO Mark explain. You might not be able to clearly tell anymore because no one cares about DxO <laughs> Mark because it gets talked about now. That, that is also right. true. But this is the perfect time to make that video. Exactly. And the Pixel had just gotten a 98, I presume. So mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah, it was explained. I, you said that. Yeah, I made this thumbnail. Yeah. Nice. Third one. Okay. This is a first look at a version of Android for sure. This is either this is probably top five Android features. I made this thumbnail, by the way. You made this thumbnail? Mm -hmm. Sort of. You I edited, edited the frame it, yeah. on the phone? Yes. Because that's the Easter egg from the from the version of Android. Not really. Or it's just a wallpaper that sort of matched the aesthetic? I made, I made the wallpaper to reference it, to just make it a little more fun. Interesting. So it could be top five Android O features. Android Oreo features. Top. And I probably said the version number in the title, but I don't remember that. You didn't say the version number. You're very close, but you have the key thing wrong with it. Top five. This the is top five Android something features. Whatever version of Android. I don't know which version. Top five Android Q features. Q. This is the Q symbol <laughs> that I edited oh, into yeah. a, a background that I just moved around that somebody made already, but we wanted to make it like- That's sick. Interesting. I'm not giving any hints for this iPhone one. 6 Ben Gate explained. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Why is it so thin? Okay. All right. I'm holding an iPhone 6 or 6S, something like a plus. It's either about Gates explained or about Ben Gates specifically. And since it's not Ben, maybe it's just Gates explained. Apple Gates explained. I'm, I want to give you the point because you almost nailed it right off the bat. Mm. This is Bengate explained. Yeah. Oh. But do you remember what, Bengate wasn't the six. It was a it six, was a six plus. plus. Yes. Yeah. I'll give you this one. Okay. Some yeah. people might get mad. I talked myself out of it, but I was It's okay. I feel like I also did this like weird gasp that I felt bad <laughs> for, like it made it seem not like that. So yes, this is six, six plus Bengate yeah. explained. Yes. All right, last question. Yeah. Hmm. This was a fun one to find. Okay, yeah. This video, this is the thumbnail, which is just a frame from the video of me doing an update because I hadn't had power for two weeks because of Hurricane Sandy. I can't believe you got this one. I was so proud that's why of everything, finding this That's one. why everything's off behind me. Oh, that's a good point. I, I literally shot this, I think on my phone at the time, it, of just like, hey, what's up guys? Sorry, no videos, <laughs> no power for two weeks, and Megastorm ruined my life. So wow. this is definitely Hurricane Sandy update. It is. I'm super impressed you got that one. I thought this one would throw you off because it's the typical set. It, it like does look a little tour. different. Yeah. Yeah. I think when I did this with a lot of the people in the office, they were like, is it gonna, Is it a setup tour? Is it like an I'm moving? Is it I just moved in? That's how you get people in. You but know? I was like, if you've lived through it, I think you might under remember Hurricane Sandy enough? And I would not forget that's what Hurricane wild. Sandy did to my uh, to my college experience. <laughs> you so, were yeah. like really stuck. Hoboken got hit hard. Yeah, I couldn't because this was I was staying at our friend's house across the street because they still had power. I didn't have power because there was oh, a electrical really? fire in the basement, so I couldn't oh, even edit a goodness. thumbnail on my computer because I couldn't plug in my computer. I just like oh, uploaded a screenshot of a frame from the video. That's amazing. Sent it. All right, so I think looking over this, we'll double check the math in the edit, but I think you got 12 out of 20. Okay, you know, I was expecting to get 20 for 20, let's be okay. honest, but now seeing how difficult and niche and nuanced they were, some of those are really tough. The hotel one got me. Uh, the first Ask Him KBHD, that got me, but I feel pretty good about getting over 50% with that yeah. much effort put into making interesting nuanced questions. Yeah, I, I, I tried my hardest, like I said, to, to put something in there that would be a clue. Um, I don't know if I gave you too many hints in there or not. I uh, think I gave enough context a lot of times on yes, all the other I, circumstances around the video 
that I'm remembering that I just couldn't pinpoint exactly yeah. which video it was in the catalog. I'll leave a comment, but I feel like we should do another one. For sure, I, I, I would love to do another one. We'll see how long this takes. It could either be more questions. If you guys have ideas for like a category, that would be really fun to be like throw that in the comments and maybe yeah. I could build off of that. For sure. Uh, do you, would you like it to be harder or around the same? Uh, or do you want it to be harder? If you make it more difficult, I'll try to get 50% again. Okay. How about that? Cool. Maybe yeah. we'll have a wager on the next one for something. Maybe, okay, we'll see. Okay, cool. Well, well, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, leaving your comments and your ideas. Catch you in the next one. Peace.